ADM Archer Daniels Midland ADM is a global leader in human and animal nutrition utilizing natural resources to create safe, nourishing, and eco-friendly products. They provide high-quality animal feeds, ensuring optimal care for livestock. Their feeds primarily use molasses, a sugar processing byproduct, blended with essential nutrients like grains, proteins, vitamins, and minerals. ADM's nutritionists carefully formulate these mixtures to meet the specific dietary needs of various animals. This production process generates wastewater that requires careful management to prevent environmental contamination. The need for wastewater treatment is critical due to the high organic content and potential pollutants in the effluents from feed production. Effective wastewater treatment ensures that harmful substances are removed or neutralized before the water is released back into the environment. Partnered with Reach to Reef, ADM implements a water treatment system that reduces the ecological footprints of their operations and contributes to the overall health and well-being of the community. Our team decided to visit ADM in Palomaloc, South Cotabato to gain a deeper understanding of their operations focusing on their wastewater treatment facility. As we have arrived in ADM, it is essential to adhere to safety protocols by wearing the appropriate personal protective equipment or PPE. This includes hard hats, safety glasses, vests, gloves, and safety shoes. With our proper use of PPE, it reduces the risk of injuries which allows us to safely visit the site. We will guide you through each phase of wastewater treatment. Firstly, the bar screens. Bar screens are the initial defense in wastewater treatment using closely spaced bars or wires to filter out large debris like sticks, rags, leaves, and other objects from the wastewater. Second, the grid chamber or holding tank. The grid chamber removes sand, gravel, and heavy particles from wastewater serving as temporary storage and regulating flow into subsequent treatment stages. This helps manage variations in wastewater volume and wastewater composition. From the holding tank, the wastewater will be pumped to the oil and grease trap tank. This tank captures and removes oils and greases from the wastewater. It works by slowing down the flow of water, allowing oils and greases to flow to the surface. Then, going to the most important and the heart of the wastewater treatment process, the aeration tank. The aeration tank is where the biological treatment takes place. Diffusers are used to introduce oxygen into the wastewater to promote the growth of aerobic bacteria that break down organic matter. Afterwards, the wastewater will be pumped to the clarifier tank, which is also known as a settling tank, which allows solids to settle out of the wastewater after aeration. The settled solids, called sludge, are collected at the bottom. In the activated sludge tank, a portion of the sludge from the clarifier is returned and mixed with incoming wastewater to enhance the breakdown of organic matter by the microorganisms. To 
further treat the collected sludge, it goes to the sludge digester. It breaks down organic matter anaerobically or without oxygen, in which this process produces biogas which can be captured and used as an energy source. Then we have the carbon filtration tank where the carbon filtration unit uses activated carbon to remove dissolved organic compounds, odors, and residual contaminants from the treated water. Before the discharge, it will have to undergo the chlorination phase. This involves adding chlorine or chlorine compounds to the treated water to disinfect it, killing any remaining pathogens. Wastewater from an animal feed production plant contains various bacteria, both beneficial and harmful. Common bacteria in this wastewater include Salmonella, E. coli, Bacillus, and Staphylococcus. Ending the wastewater treatment process, the treated water is released into the environment or reused within the facility. The discharged treated water should meet the regulatory standards for environmental safety or for non-potable uses within the plant. Alternatively, the sludge from the digester is spread out on drying beds where water evaporates, leaving behind a more solid material. The dried sludge can be used as fertilizer or disposed of in landfills. Each of these stages is essential to ensure that the water is treated effectively, protecting the environment and the public health. ADM's wastewater treatment process in Tulumanok, South Kapatakit, showcases their commitment to sustainability. ADM, a global leader of human and animal nutrition, produces high-quality feeds, generating wastewater that requires careful management. Partnering with Reach to Reef, ADM has implemented an advanced treatment system that reduces their ecological footprints and benefits the community. Our visit provider an in-depth look at each stage of the process highlighting ATM's dedication to sustainability and operational concerns. Thank you for joining our tour of ADM in Palomalok, South Cotabato. We hope you find it fascinating. Until next time!